Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through today may resonate with everyone watching. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and release the rest to the universe. From the very first moment I looked into your eyes, I knew we belong together like yin and yang. Your person, that first time they saw you, when the two of you spent time together, they knew that you belonged together. They knew that you were the one for them, just like you did. It was a love at first sight moment for your person. They felt some sort of cosmic shift or cosmic force within them when they first met you. They felt that your eyes could see into the depth of their soul. They liked that feeling, but it also scared them because they knew that you would know and understand them better than anybody ever has. They knew they had to be real with you. They knew they had to be authentic with you. They knew they couldn't really play games with you if this connection with the two of you moved forward to long term, which is also something that they felt when the two of you first met one another. You know that feeling, you meet that one person and you go, oh my God, that is the one for me. That's what your person felt from the very first moment they looked into your eyes. And you probably felt something similar as well. It's just at the time, they weren't ready for it. They knew that they were going to have to put forth effort and energy to grow and to change, to become more emotionally mature to be able to sustain and maintain the level of this connection that's here between the two of you. And that's what they've been doing during this time apart. They are gaining their strength. They are transforming and changing so that they can be this partner that you need them to be, balanced like yin and yang, divine masculine and divine feminine in divine union. I have been crying over you. Your person misses you guys, just like you've been crying over them. They feel so guilty for how they acted. They feel lost without you. They've really taken stock of their actions, the words they said, and they know that they need to do better, that they shouldn't have allowed themselves to act the way they did with you. They're crying because they miss you. They long and yearn for you. They want to be able to rebuild this connection. They have to get past this fear that's been holding them back. But this so far tells us that they're going to do that. They're heartbroken over you. They broke their own heart when they created this disconnect between the two of you. And they are taking responsibility and ownership for that now. Because it is tearing them up inside. Your person has so much heartache and heartbreak that they're dealing with right now because they miss you and they know that in order to have you in their life, they're going to have to put forth the effort and energy to make it so. And they're afraid that you may not take them back. That is part of their tears. Okay, guys? We're both hurt and need some time apart to heal. Yes, that is what is happening now for both of you. You both need some healing. Your person needs a lot of healing as well. But during the time of separation is where the healing occurs. It's where we release old behaviors, toxic behaviors, things that no longer serve us. Because as we come into union, we become our authentic selves. Being in that place of authenticity with each other in this yin-yang connection. Healing what needs to be healed. Releasing stuff from the past. Working through abandonment issues, other fears, insecurities, whatever it is so that they don't cloud this connection after the two of you come into union again. This is what's happening during the time that you're apart. You are both healing, growing, and transforming. 
I'm really lost without you and full of guilt and regret. I hope one day you can forgive me for what I've done to you. Yeah, see, this is their guilt. This is their regret, their disappointment in themselves for their actions, for their words, for how they created so much damage in this connection that's here between you. Part of the reason why they're crying over you as well. But the situation went the way that it did to allow this catalyst for change in each other's lives so that you can both heal, grow, and evolve into those authentic people that you are becoming. Like this yin-yang, the divine masculine and divine feminine in divine union with each other. What else do we need to know, please? What else does the collective want to reveal today for this reading? Guidance. Your person is getting guidance from the people upstairs, from the universe, from their angels and guides, but they could also be getting guidance from someone that's giving them counsel here on earth as well. Perhaps they're talking to a therapist. Perhaps they're getting guidance from some sort of spiritual practice that they're involved with, friends, family, the universe, the angels, the people upstairs, your person is getting guidance that is helping them. This also tells us there's divine guidance in the situation with you and your person. The divine guidance of the universe is working to try to bring this connection with you and your person to this place of union because your angels and guides, their angels and guides, want the two of you to come to this place of yin yang union the two of you belong together you know this your person knows this and so the universe is trying to get that to happen through divine intervention through signs and synchronicities through speaking to your person in their dreams in their thoughts the people upstairs are helping guys for this connection with your person they're helping you as well dedicated this tells us your person is going to be more dedicated to you and this connection than you have seen them do before they will put forth effort and energy for this love they will show you through their words and actions how they feel for you they will dedicate their heart and their life to loving you if there's an opportunity for the two of you to come to the place of reunion with each other they're going to apologize and ask for your forgiveness they know that you belong together they will dedicate their lives to showing you how bad they feel for their actions and behaviors and then they will also dedicate their lives to making this up to you because your person wants to be with you they know the two of you belong together they know that you are the one for them and they will do what it takes to rebuild this relationship no matter how hard they have to work no matter how hard they try they will show you that their love for you is serious that it's real that it's something that they should never have denied or ran from because their love for you is the only thing that feels real to them right now passion woohoo there is a lot of passion here in this connection with your person and perhaps your person is having passionate thoughts of you here from time to time as you also may be having passionate thoughts of them but the passion with your person when you come back together is going to be different in a much better way it won't just be about the physical intimacy that's here between you but also about the emotional intimacy as well so the passion will be a physical experience an emotional experience, but also a spiritual experience. 
for the two of you moving forward because you've both changed you're evolving, you're healing, you are releasing these things that have held both of you back from being able to fully come into this beautiful divine union with each other. As you are becoming more authentic, both of you becoming more authentic, this connection will take on a deeper meaning for both of you. The passion will be off the charts. They will be so dedicated to you. They will tell you through their words and their actions how much they love you. So you won't doubt it. You'll know directly from them. They will tell you how they feel, what they want with this connection moving forward, how they see it moving forward, how they envision a future with you. And you won't doubt your person at all. You will have no doubt because they will rebuild your faith and trust in them by doing whatever it takes, the work the dedication, the expressions of love to show you that yes, you do belong together and that they are ready to embrace this connection with you. Meant to be. Your person, I do feel, thinks that this connection with the two of you is meant to be. Again, this comes with the divine guidance and intervention of the universe trying to bring this together. Your person feels a sense of fate here in this connection with you because from the very first moment they looked into your eyes, they felt something. This spark, this cosmic shift, something happening within their soul the first time they saw you and looked into your eyes. They knew back then that this was meant to be like yin and yang. Your person knows still that it's a meant to be situation between the two of you and they are working their way to come back to you to present themselves as a romantic partner and apologize and your person is going to ask you to consider a fresh start with them they're going to ask you if you would give them an opportunity to make things up to you desire desire Woohoo! There's going to be loads of passion in this connection between the two of you moving forward. Not that there wasn't before, but remember I said it was going to be different. It will be much more intense. It will be much more magical. Your person desires you. No one else. Your person desires this connection with you. They desire you physically, yes, with this passion, but they also desire you emotionally and spiritually. They know you belong together like yin and yang. And through this desire, your person is going to start taking the steps necessary to reach out and contact you, to ask if you would talk to them opening those lines of communication between the two of you so the two of you can start rebuilding this connection. You are your person's desire and they desire to have a reunion with you because they believe you belong together. Romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. Yes, that's what we want to see here. Your person, very much like that dedicated card, they will lavish you, lavish you with love and affection. And if they have not done that before, if you haven't seen this action from your person in the past, you will be seeing it in the future. Your person wants you. They know you belong together. They desire you. They do believe that this is destiny because you're meant to be. They are getting guidance from the universe through signs and synchronicities to bring this connection with you to the place of union, the divine union of yin and yang. They will apologize. They have so much guilt and regret right now. And they do hope that you can forgive them and give them an opportunity to rebuild this relationship with you, with the two of you being in harmony and balance and love with each other. 
this is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading today, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching. Have a great day, everyone.